Hello and welcome to Primetime Sports Weekly. I'm Zach. And I'm Griffin. And the intro play of the week you just saw was Victor Duke's incredible dunk of the year, even though the year just started, where his entire torso was above the rim. So let's get started with the NBA. Kevin Love and Ricky Rubio will not play tonight against the Trailblazers. Dirk Nowitzki will make his first start of the season tonight after missing the first three months of the season with a knee injury. And Eric Gordon will also make his first start of the season for the Hornets after playing a few games off the bench. And... The Jordan-era Bulls announcer has come back for the current day Bulls. Ray Clay was fired in 2002 after wanting to give Michael Jordan his signature introduction after he left for the Wizards for that season, and he was fired after the season, and he is now back as the PA announcer. Okay, now we're going to the MLB. Uh, in the MLB, Sergio Romo was arrested in a Las Vegas airport on New Year's Day. And uh, he got into an argument with a T with a TSA officer for not having the correct ID. Um, he said that he it was said that he became more angry and aggressive, and and then later the cops came and put him in cuffs. He uh, he was not allowed to fly that day and was escorted out of the airport. He later apologized for his actions. The Rangers have finally made a splash in the free agent market by signing Lance Berkman, the veteran first baseman from the Cardinals, to a one-year $10 or $11 million contract. Jose Bautista also is getting ready to finally return after a, sprain, or a wrist injury. Uh, he is now swinging at full strength and ready to return to the now powerhouse Blue Jays, who I think are legitimate title contenders for this season. Yeah, I mean, they've got so many players. They've signed, they've signed Jose Reyes. Yeah. All those pitchers. All those pitchers. You know, Milky Cabrera, steroids. Mm. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. In the NHL, sides met Thursday but have gotten nowhere, and they have until next week before the entire season is canceled. Should not be good. For some people. Yeah, if they reach a deal, they will have a complete 45-game season. Ooh, that's so complete. All right. Ooh. In college so basketball. Complete, it's not. In college basketball, Colorado was gypped of a win against Arizona this week due to a buzzer beater that was originally called good, mm -hmm. but then reviewed and reversed, even though the Colorado senior guard definitely got it off with one. point one to go. Uh, the Colorado's head coach is still pretty pissed about it, but Arizona went on to win the game in overtime. What? We going no. on to college football? Yes, we are. All right, Johnny Manziel set a record for rushing yards by QB in a single bowl game with 229 yards. What wow. can he do? That's pretty insane. Uh, and Oregon head coach Chip Kelly will be signing with the Cleveland Browns, right? Yes, Okay, that is well, he will be signing with the Cleveland Browns this uh, yes. upcoming NFL season after yes. they fired their head coach Pat Shermer on yeah. Black Monday. Uh, Chip Kelly Along just with came seven off. other coaches, which we will get into. Okay, but <laughs> Chip Kelly was just coming off of a huge Tostitos Bowl win against Kansas State and Colin Klein, and now we go to the NFL. All right, uh, the Chiefs have signed Andy Reid after being fired from the Eagles, and Lovey Smith is talking with the Chargers about his head coach job. Yeah, and there were seven head coaches fired, which are Andy Reid. Of the Eagles, Romeo Cornell of the uh, Chiefs, Norv Turner of the Chargers, Pat Shermer, yeah, Pat Shermer of the Browns, Lovey Smith of the Bears, Chan Gailey of the Bills, and Andy Wisenhunt of the Cardinals. All right. Uh, the playoffs start today. Yes. As we film this, we're actually watching the Texans game. And Houston is winning 6 nothing. As we're watching, at least. As we're watching, so it... But yeah, all right. Yeah. So let's make some predictions really quick. All right. So I am taking in this game that we're watching right now. I am taking the Texans over the Bengals. Okay. Continue. I, oh, I think like with that Do game. Do your entire bracket. Oh, um, I'm saying for t uh, tonight's game against the Vi Vikings and Packers, I'm going to take the Packers over the Vikings, and tomorrow. Colts in Baltimore. I'm taking the Colts, and then I'm take and then in S Seahawks, I'm, ta I'm taking the Seahawks. Okay. All right. Now you say what you're gonna for this for the wild card playoffs. 
Okay, in the game we're watching right now, Cincinnati and Houston, I am going to take Houston in a close game. Mm -hmm. Tonight's game, the NFC first wild card, the Vikings and the Packers, I will be taking the Packers. Uh, the Seahawks and the uh, Falcons. No, the Seahawks. The Falcons. <laughs> oh, jeez. Who are they playing? All right, so whoever the, Fal whoever the Seahawks are playing, you Hold take... On. I'm taking the Seahawks. All right. It doesn't matter. I know oh, I'm well. going to find out this later. I'll put a little caption of who they're playing because I'm right. having a stupid moment. You. And then the Us. I'm having a stupid moment, <laughs> I said. Well, okay, whatever, us. But, <laughs> whatever. And then continuing the last game between the Ravens and the Colts, I'm going to take the Ravens. Andrew right. Luck will be at, Oh, no, it's the Redskins and the, uh, it's the Seahawks. the Redskins. That's right. Okay. Ugh. No caption. Yeah. All right, next, Best going that. to the end. Uh, um, in the division champions, I will take, I will take, oh, wow, um, Niners and Packers, I will be taking the Packers, I'll be taking the Niners, and for Falcons, Seahawks, I'm taking the Falcons, for the AFC, Pats, Texans, I'm taking the Pats, and Broncos, Colts, I'm taking the Colts, actually, I think that Andrew Luck is going to prevail. Mm-hmm, okay, in, uh, the AFC... I have the Ravens and oh oh man who would they be playing? All right, I'll just skip ahead. <laughs> that looks pretty bad. Yeah. So the winners of those to play Forget in the AFC part. finals, the winner of those to play in the AFC finals will be the Broncos and the Patriots, the two teams with the buys. Right. I think they're going to be more refreshed and they're just overall better teams coming out of the AFC. And in the NFC finals. It will be the Colts 49ers. Will be Broncos. Oh, Ravens will be playing Broncos. For you? No, that's you were trying to figure out who the Ravens were playing. Well, it doesn't. It, they don't do it by actual bracket. They do it by seating. So you yeah, wouldn't. Well, so the Bron huh? But what if the Ravens are whatever. a better seat than the other team? Whatever. They're, they're the worst seat. All right. Um, okay, whatever. And then in the NFC Finals will be the um. 49ers and the Seahawks. I think Russell Wilson and that entire Seahawks crew will outlast all the way up until this game. Mm. What's mm. your finals? Um, for conference? Yeah. Well, who do I'm you have taking, playing and who do you have winning? I'm, I have the Niners and the Falcons, and I'm taking the Falcons. I know I'm a Niners fan, but I think the Falcons are just going to take it all this year. Mm. I just gave away my Super Bowl prediction. But, and for the conference for the AFC... I will be taking the Colts. I think that Andrew Luck is just gonna have, he's gonna beat the Pats, and I think it's actually gonna be a good game in the Super Bowl. Well, we have some uh, different predictions, huh? Yes, we do. The AFC Finals. I have the Broncos and Patriots. The winner of that game will be the Broncos. The NFC Finals will be the uh, Seahawks and the 49ers, and the winner of that game will be the 49ers. So it will be a 49ers Broncos Super Bowl, and the winner of that game will be the Denver Broncos, since they have not lost a game. In a long time. <laughs> long time. Peyton Manning will just be too good for them. Alright, so. Uh, in the swagger section, the, the, other, the other news of, of the, the week. week. Uh, the, only, uh, the only thing I have, really, is that Kobe Bryant joined Twitter. Finally. His first tweet was, The antisocial is now social. Hashtag Mamba tweets. So yeah, everyone could go retweet that right now. He's on Twitter. He has <laughs> <laughs> he has half a million followers with only two tweets and a retweet. All right. Which is ridiculous. And uh, Rex Ryan has a tattoo of his wife wearing a Mark Sanchez jersey. So she now sucks. Well, that that will do it for this week's show of Primetime Sports Weekly. Tune in next week for another episode. <laughs> Our cameraman I'm, just fell out of a chair. I'm Zach. That's a great way to end. Yeah, yeah I'm Griffin. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>